Thanks for doing the interview, Sarah. Uh, if we can kick off with a bit of career highlights to date and how you got into CHI. I think I got into the industry by default, really. I was um, a Cambridge graduate. Yeah. I was a linguist. Yeah. And um, I always thought I wanted to work for the BBC. So I knew I wanted to do something creative. I then had a summer job at BBC Manchester, BBC North, I think it's called. And um, I was surprised at how uncreative it was or it felt um, it didn't feel full of a huge amount of opportunity maybe that's just because it was BBC Manchester and I went back to the drawing board and I went to our careers office and I said oh I thought I wanted to be in media but I'm not sure now I thought I wanted to work for the BBC and I remember the lady went well there's a box down there marked advertising I said oh what what what, what do you do there no idea and back then it was all about watching reels and I loved the creative work that I saw on the Lohad Spink Reel and um, rather foolishly only applied to that um, uh, agency. The person who was in charge of graduate recruitment was a lady called Jo Burnett and she was a massive football fan and I'm a Blackburn Rovers fan and she noticed this on my application form so decided that she would quite enjoy a conversation with me about football to see whether I really did know whether Roy Wegerly had a good left or right foot. And as with all these things, you know, it is hard work, but also you need a little bit of luck along the way. And I got, um, I got through as one of the graduates on the graduate training scheme at what was then Low Howard Spink, working with some amazing people like, um, well, Frank Lowe was still there. Um, and. Paul Hammersley, David Jones, uh, Tim Lindsay, Lawrence Green, uh, Alison Hode, some fantastic people, and Charles Ng, who's obviously the eye of CHI. And when he uh, finally left Lowe's, he obviously talked to Johnny and Simon about me, and Johnny is a man who, I mean, persistent isn't the word. He rang me up virtually every day for six months until in the end I kind of waved the white flag and left Lowe's to come to um, CHI. So I joined CHI in 2001 or two. The agency was, well, it was 20, there were 20 people there. I think I was about the 20th person to yeah. join the agency and I joined as new business director and um, joined at a very similar time to Neil Goodlad and very quickly Johnny made Neil and I joint managing directors which was quite new then to have a planner and a suit um, running the agency and a, a lot of people followed suit after that and, and I think that was important because Simon and Johnny wanted to ensure that planning and account management were equal par yeah. and Neil's still here, he's now the agency CSO, I'm CEO and we've been here for nearly 11 years. What I do feel quite proud of is the fact that in those first 6 to 12 months Neil and I pitched for pieces of business that still are with us today and that feels quite special. So obviously you've done a long stint to CHI and Partners, what are the main changes you've experienced during your time here? Yeah. Well, I think like any agency we've experienced a complete change in the media landscape in fact that change started before I came to CHI so if I think about when I began uh, in the industry at Low Howard Spink it was full service then all the disciplines were broken up and of course they've all now come back together even tighter than before so I guess that's the first point yeah. I also think that clients have become more demanding over that period of time. They want more for less. They want you to be more multidisciplined than you were before. And also, I think their demand for creativity and innovative creativity is, is a must-have. You know, I remember back then it was sometimes seen as a nice-to-have and some clients wanted it and some clients didn't. And now I think any client, whether they be you know, a storage space company, whether they're selling a tub of butter or our British gas, everyone wants something fresh, innovative, creative and therefore effective. So I think that has changed.
But I think here at CHI, there are three things actually that haven't changed at all in that period that I've been here. I think the first is the client base. I feel very proud of that. Um, a lot of our clients are still with us. They still trust us as their brand guardians and have been with us for over seven years. Yeah. The senior management team hasn't really changed and I think that's quite rare in our industry yeah. and actually a really valuable asset. And I think the third thing is the culture and this belief that a brilliant idea really can change anything. So moving forward, CHI, tell us a bit more about the plans for the future. CHI is heading as the heartbeat of the AND partnership, which yeah. is our micro network, in a more global, more multidisciplined space. And we are at the very heart of that, propelling it forward. Uh, who is the most inspirational person that you've worked with to date? In terms of, insp I've worked with some brilliant people, yeah. um, particularly creative people. Um, from Tony Kay, Vince Squibb, Dougal Wilson. But I think one of the most inspirational people I've worked with, but not really worked with, um, because she's my mentor, is Carolyn McCall. So I'm very lucky to have her as my mentor. Never yet, although um, it's not over yet, is it? Um, have I had the opportunity to work with Carolyn directly, but she's amazing and has given me the simplest uh, but most brilliant pieces of advice, particularly when I became CEO, I went to see her, and um, in true Carolyn style, she said, well, you have of course done X, Y, and Z, haven't you? And of course I hadn't done any of those things, and they were the most obvious things I should have done. And um, I often go to her, and she's just a brilliant uh, person to have there, to talk to, to share problems with, just get our general advice, because, you know, you often land the big job without really having the experience you're learning on the job so i think having some a council like that is 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 fantastic what's the best or biggest creative brief you've had a chance to work on okay the biggest creative uh, brief i've worked on to date was definitely the launch of the sun on sunday i mean how often can you say that rupert murdoch was your client I presented directly to him face to face in a studio in Soho and of course the brief was to replace the news of the world which had been closed two weeks before. It was a life-changing uh, five days. Not much sleep but it was, it was amazing. In terms of main challenges you face getting to the top as a woman, what are the main things that you come up against? Well, the, the challenges I face getting to the top as a woman are exactly the same challenges that a man faces getting to the top. Um, I think it's incredibly competitive. I think you've really got to put in the long hours and the hard yards. And I think you've got to maintain your interest and enthusiasm for the industry and the creative work and creative ideas and continue to believe that a big creative idea really can make a difference. If you could speak to a young Sarah Golding leaving uni, what advice would you give her? If I was giving a young Sarah Golding, my God, um, advice, it would be to worry less, probably sleep more and um, enjoy the journey. And how has your outlook changed since you had your little girl? Since I had the boo lady. Um, how has my outlook changed? Well, I think since having Florence, I definitely think it puts things in perspective. I also think it helps you empathise with the target audience that you're more often than not trying to communicate with, you know, mums. But interestingly, I think it has actually, well, it's certainly not diluted my enthusiasm and my commitment to, to this agency and, and to my career because I guess I want Florence to see me, not just her dad, as a role model and know that it doesn't have to be about who you know. If you work hard and you set your mind on something, you can, you can do it. And the main things that you look for when you're looking for new stars to join the team at CHI and Partners, what are the sort of key things you look for? In terms of new people joining CHI, I'm looking for new skills, so I want people to bring new skills to the agency. I want them to come from different backgrounds. 
I've had different experiences, but also I want them to complement the stars that are already here yeah. because you want to create you know, really great chemistry between the different teams. But I also want people that make me feel a bit scared. I know that if I was applying today for CHI's grad scheme, I wouldn't get through because the people that we see are amazing. They've got such confidence. They've got really broad backgrounds. They seem to have been everywhere to all these amazing places um, and they're super articulate. Back onto inspiration, in terms of the most inspiring campaign you've heard or seen recently, any that stand out to you? Apart from the uh, Argos campaign, the new Argos campaign that we've just launched, I think the one that sticks in my mind most, albeit not that recent, was the superhuman spot for Channel 4. Yeah. It was directed by a guy called Tom Tagholm who we work with on Anchor Butter. He's delightful and really creative. I thought that piece of film, well, it blew me away. I just, I found it, I, it, it, I, anything that can create an emotion in you is, is pretty amazing. And that certainly did it in spades. And if you weren't at CHI and Partners having a great time, what would you be doing? If I wasn't in the industry, I think I would be in the, I'll be doing something in health and wellness. I'm desperately trying to cling on to my youth. Obviously, you're working with some great brands at the moment, um, apart from brands you've already worked on. Are there any brands that you'd love to have a crack at? I think I'd have to say British Airways, because I think every ad man of my generation would say the same thing. It's just such an iconic brand. It's an airline, it's super sexy, it's big, it's got its problems. Um, yeah, I'd love to get my hands on that. Good choice. Um, if you had a magic wand and I could grant you one wish and you could change anything about the industry, what would it be? My daughter would be absolutely delighted by that. Um, if I had a magic wand and I could wave it over the industry, I think I would want to give the industry more confidence and remind the industry that the creative ideas we generate and we produce really do make a difference to consumers, to brands, to businesses and you know, even society writ large. I think that's what I'd do. Before we go into the quick fire rounds, what's the best piece of career advice you've been given? So the best piece of advice I've been given to date was dress for the job you yeah. want, not the job you already have. Wise words. Um, I think the best piece of advice I could give anyone starting in the industry would be well, I can't claim it for myself because I'm not this articulate, but there was a lovely um, quote I remember from Peter Pan, J.M. Barry, and it is, the moment you doubt whether you can fly, you cease forever to be able to do it. And I think that's brilliant. You know, you should always go for it, always believe in your dreams. And um, in fact, if I could, I'd love to be able to tattoo that on my daughter, although that sounds a bit cruel. Maybe I'll just... I'll just spray paint it on her bedroom wall. But I think that really is brilliant advice. Just always go for it. Always you know, believe that through hard work and a little bit of luck, you can achieve whatever you want to achieve. Quick fire rounds. Favourite current brands? Celine. All time favourite? Chanel. Double espresso or green tea? Oh, double espresso in the morning and green tea in the afternoon. <laughs> Best person you've worked with? Simon Clemo. Most creative person you've worked with? I think I'd say Dougal Wilson. Independent or network? Independent network. Money or happiness? Happiness. And finally, twist or stick? Twist. Some great answers there, Sarah. Thanks very much for your time today.